Welcome to Nuclear Learning, an online initiative produced by the Stimson Centre to facilitate the study of South Asia's nuclear trajectories. Our first open online course, Nuclear South Asia, is available free of charge at nuclearlearning.org. This video is part of a special series on India and Pakistan's 1998 nuclear tests and features General Anthony Zini, former commander of the United States Central Command. We discuss US diplomatic pressure on Pakistan after India's 1998 tests. Well, the mission uh, to try to get the Pakistanis not to test their nuclear weapon uh, in response to an Indian test was actually given to the uh, Deputy Secretary of State at the time, Strobe Talbot. Uh, however, the, the Pakistani government, uh, the foreign ministry, uh, did not want to see him. Uh, and we're, we're not we're denying him entry in Pakistan. Uh, there was an immediacy to getting in there because there was a feeling that the threats were, uh, the tests rather, were imminent. So I was called and told that uh, Secretary Talbot would come to uh, Florida, where my headquarters was, MacDill Air Force Base, and we would use my plane to fly out there and I would go with him uh, to try to get the test stopped. Uh, it was important because my plane was um, aerial refuelable and it was the quickest way to get in. Uh, so he came down and was still trying to work the issue of uh, getting permission to get in. So I called my counterpart, which is General uh, Jahangir Karamat, who was the uh, commander of the Pakistani military, explained the problem, said you really need to get the deputy secretary there. He said, come on and, uh, and, and, and come, I will make sure the government uh, is receptive and, and you get an audience with the prime minister and the foreign minister. Uh, this was critically important because uh, we were going to run out of crew day and we would have to reset and would mean we would delay a flight 12 uh, or more hours. Uh, so we were able to get off, uh, it was a 23 hour flight, we did several aerial refuelings, we got on the ground. Uh, we did get in to see, uh, thanks to General Karamat, uh, the Prime Minister, and the, most of the cabinet. Uh, they were adamant that the test was going to go on. Uh, I don't think uh, anything we could have said or done at that time would have prevented it. They felt it was critically important for them to respond to the Indian test. So in that sense, I think it was Mission Impossible. Uh, I do think it was worth doing, though, because I think it was important for them to understand uh, how critical we saw this from the United States point of view about the testing of nuclear weapons. I would say from their perspective they felt that we were more forgiving on the Indian side and, and put more pressure on their side. That was their perception and I think going forward it was that uh, we tended to forgive more on the Indian side and held them accountable uh, for things. But then again that, that was their view or their uh, perception.